What's up guys, Nerd Up Desk here, and today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Homebrew channel on your Wii U. Actions done in this video are at your discretion. As with most hacking, there's a chance of failure which may leave your Wii U inoperable. Please proceed cautiously and follow all instructions. So if you're like me and you've been waiting patiently for the Wii U uh, to be hacked, well, don't wait any longer. So the time has finally come for the Homebrew channel to make its way to the Wii U via the Wii Mode. That's right, the original Wii Mode on the Wii U has been fully hacked. All those awesome Homebrew applications that you've been enjoying on your Wii, well now that can be brought to the Wii U. It can even play Wii backup games. To get this done, it is uh, an exploit done through game software. So you will need to buy a game for this unless you already have it. Luckily, there's a few good titles out there and you might actually already have one laying around. A good one, for example, is Super Smash Bros. Brawl. You will need these games to actually get the exploit uh, to actually run the code to install the Homebrew channel on your system. So think of it as almost a door to get into the root of your console. The games that work are Super Smash Bros. Brawl. Tales of Symphonia, Dawn of a New World, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, and that's what we're going to be using in this video, Lego Batman 1, and Lego Indiana Jones. I picked up Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga for about $9 on eBay. I'm sure you can pick up many of these Lego games very cheap uh, at a local used game store or even at Walmart. I know that uh, most of the LEGO games run new about $19.99 at big box retail. You're also going to need an SD card, but kind of a special SD card and kind of an old SD card. It has to be under 2 gigabytes, or specifically it has to be a SD card and not an SDHC card. Now there are some 4 gigabyte cards that are SD and some 4 gigabyte cards that are SDHC. So you need to make sure that your card is going to be supported. The 128, 256, 512, 1 gigabyte, and 2 gigabyte cards are probably going to be the cards that you want to use. And make sure you're not using MMC cards. You want to use uh, just a secure digital SD card. If you're not sure your SD card will work or if you have any other questions, make sure you comment below. Either myself or many of the other uh, great community members out there will give you a hand. The next step will take place on your computer. All right, now that you're at your computer, by the way, this works on Mac, Linux, and Windows. It's just a simple web browser download and you're going to put it on the SD card. So I'm going to have links to this website right here. This is going to be the exploit page on WePrew, which is a great website. It's going to show you all the uh, working exploits for the VWii system uh, that's available right now. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate using uh, LEGO Star Wars. However, any game that's listed working in Wii mode will work just fine. However, uh, when you actually get to the game exploit, it's going to be a little bit different. For example, if you're going to be using Bat Hacks, so you want to use the Bat Hacks Wii Brew page, and it's going to give you the exact instructions on how to do it. And it's not going to deviate too much from this tutorial. So we're going to be using Return of the Jody, and right here it's going to give you download link. This is going to work for all regions. This is going to work for Europe and America and uh, other regions as well. Go ahead and uh, hit download and you're going to get the download and it's going to be in a zip file. So what you want to do now is that uh, open up your SD card on your computer and uh, extract that uh, zip file that you just downloaded. On your SD card, it doesn't matter what's on there as long as it's formatted FAT32 or FAT16. You're going to see a private folder in the archive you just extracted. You want to drag that into your, the root of your SD card. Next, we need the Hack Me Installer. I'm not going to be combining all these downloads into one pack because I want to make sure that you guys are getting the most updated files to give you the most compatibility options here. Uh, right here, you're going to be linked to this page and just go ahead and click uh, Hack Me Installer 1.2. Uh, there might be a new version out. Go ahead use that one and uh, you'll have that downloaded and open that up. Same situation here. You're going to see a bunch of stuff inside of this folder. Just drag that boot.elf to the root of your SD card. Uh, override if it asks. The last option here is optional. This is the homebrew browser. And what this is going to do is it's going to allow you to download homebrew straight to your Wii instead of going to WeeBrew or any other Wii uh, homebrew application site and having to actually find it you can get all your homebrew downloaded straight to your Wii, which is pretty cool. And this is just a simple download, and you're going to put this in the apps folder. But I'm not going to show you how to do that. It's pretty simple. All right, now that you have all your files on there, go ahead and take your SD card out and head over to your Wii U. Go ahead and pop your game in and your SD card and turn your Wii U on. Go to the original Wii mode and go ahead and hit Wii options, save data, and then go to the SD card. 
then choose the one appropriate for your region. For me, it's United States. There's also Japan and uh, Europe. And copy that over the Wii system memory. Go back to the Wii menu and then load up the game. In this case, it's Star Wars The Complete Saga or Return of the Jody. And we're gonna go ahead and, uh, for this one, it's start, load game. It's pretty easy. And then once the game loads, we're just gonna go right to the bar where the character creation screen is and uh, it's gonna load the exploit. And you might freak out, but that's how it's supposed to look. And that's gonna load the homebrew channel installer Right here your Wii might, might act a little weird, go ahead and try to reconnect it a couple times and eventually it's going to ask you to press 1 and then you do that and then you go up to uh, install the homebrew channel and you click yes and that's going to install the homebrew channel for you. And you choose exit to exit back to the homebrew channel. You might notice right here that it's in 16 by 9 but if you reload it after you've exited it and you come back it's going to be in 4x3 if you have a widescreen television and you're using HDMI or something like that. And there's a way to fix that. I've included a uh, application, just it's in the description, you can download it. It's called Aspect Fixer. And you load that up and it's going to put the homebrew channel in 16x9 so you can play homebrew games in widescreen like expected. That about wraps it up guys, thanks for watching. If this helped you out, make sure you like the video and subscribe to Nerd Help Desk. We come out with new tech videos all the time with all kinds of ranging topics that I'm sure you might enjoy. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys later.